And there it's called Inception. This is the tattoo for Inception. People like to ask what my tattoos are for. This is the Inception tattoo. It's a woman whispering in my brain. And uh, I'm going to give you a few pieces of that right now so you understand. It's very advanced shit. This is the kind of shit that's been going on in our lives without even knowing this is happening to us ever since we're kids. Three um, points in being persuasive, powerful, penetrating, and being able to um, grab someone's mind and move it. Okay? Three points we're going to go over. The first one is um, that when you have to understand the word reframe, okay? This is a very powerful word. To reframe something, to give it another meaning, to give it another context. Let me give you an example in this, okay? Uh, if we had a. Uh, uh, lighting incense, right? And you come in and someone's like, oh, they always do that because um, it smells better. You go, oh, you just accept it. Oh, okay. Must be that. Yeah. Then somebody else comes and says, oh, was there incense burning tonight? Yeah, why? Oh, well, when Arash burns incense, it's like a deep spiritual connection that he has with, with his teacher that passed away. If he's doing that, this is a ritual for him. We're in for a treat tonight. Oh. <laughs> Either way, they both could be bullshit. In this case, they are. Um, but we took the incense burning and we, the second guy came in and reframed it. Gave you another meaning to the incense burning. And his meaning was more seductive and powerful. <gasps> oh, okay. One was, oh, it smells good. The other one was, this is, this is the reason why he does it. But that's, an, uh, that's just a a quick way of looking at reframing. You look at a glass, it's half full, someone comes and says, no, it's not half full, it's half empty. Okay, I'm just giving you examples because one of those like weird concepts, reframe, what's a reframe, okay? Now, you need to understand reframing. And you need to understand words. And that you, as a seduction artist, and as a master of this, I'm going to speak to you as masters of this, have to start defining your terms. What is a girlfriend to you? What is a girlfriend to you? I can tell you, a girlfriend to you, Hefner, to Hugh Hefner is different than a girlfriend to many of my friends. Not true, I don't really have any friends, but to any of the people that I know. Okay? Uh, they have different definitions. To me, having a girlfriend is different than most people that I know. But I stay true to my definition of a girlfriend in my relationship. Okay? This is where the idea of congruency comes in. When a person is incongruent, people are like, well, how do I get more congruent. Well, here's the difference. It's a belief and an action and they go together. This is congruency. This is what I was looking at today. A person has a belief, but they don't act on it. They're incongruent. So people feel it. Are you, he's not genuine. Why? Well, because they get us, they don't know why, but let's break it down the mechanics. The mechanics are, he has a belief, but he's acting opposite of his belief, so he looks broken. Or, he doesn't have that belief, but he's acting like he has that belief. Again, he's broken. But when the belief and the action go together, you have congruency. And people feel it. Oh, so great speakers, charismatic leaders are congruent. You get that what they believe and their actions are, are right there. And so people naturally want to follow. Right? This is what you have to have in your game. We'll go back, we'll see how this fits into framing and stuff, okay?